fall down, won't open my eyes. Keep my glass full until morning light. Cause I'm just holding up for tonight. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. By the time this goes up, it will no longer be Halloween because as I am filming right now today, it's Halloween and I thought it would be fun to do like kind of a little chit chat, get ready with me. I know it's not really that kind of channel, but I am gonna be going all out tonight and I'm going to see Rocky Horror Picture Show at the Paramount Theater in Peekskill. Costumes are encouraged and if you have ever been to a Rocky Horror Picture Show or like you know about that, you know it's like a big, big thing, big deal. Um, people go crazy with costumes, which I love because I love getting dressed up. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready in three, two, one. Hi guys, so um, I don't really have like a setup for doing makeup tutorials or anything like that. I literally do my makeup on the floor of my bedroom. As you can see, I've already done my like face pretty much. I just have to do my lipstick and like highlighter and things like that, and my wig of course. I didn't even tell you guys what I'm gonna be. I'm going as a space cowgirl. Since I'm going as like a space themed uh, person, I used uh, the Galaxy Palette by Fenty Beauty. By Riri, my favorite ever. And I used also Juvia's Place, the Masquerade Palette for the blue. I mean, I used the blue glitter shades from this, but I used like a blue base shadow from the Masquerade Palette. Oh! Well, we don't want that. I mean, I'm sure from some of you might, but I don't want that. Um, <laughs> Silver highlighter, I'm gonna stay with Fenty Beauty. I'm using Confetti, which is like a very iridescent, it's beautiful. I mean, this doesn't really show you because I don't really have the good, best lighting and everything right here. I just like this highlighter because it's like very iridescent, but I'm gonna go over it with like a more pow bam highlighter. I'm sorry I keep looking at the viewfinders just because I'm actually like kind of looking at it while I'm doing my makeup like to see what I'm doing. I'm not used to this guys. I never do this. I've literally never done this before. I never even talk while I do my makeup usually. Now this one broke, but this is like the best highlighter. Actually, I have one, another one that isn't broken. Um, it's Wet n Wild. It looks dusty because my other highlighter just broke all over it. Um, this is Blossom Glow 319B. It's like the most beautiful highlighter. I love Wet n Wild, by the way, you guys. Like pretty much every time I film, I use their foundation which I was like shocked at how good it was where did I put it it's their photo focus foundation and I used the shade 369 C cream beige I mean I'm wearing it right now actually um it doesn't look like as it's it looks good in person like I don't want to say it doesn't look good in person because it does but like on film it's like perfect it's like unbelievable like it looks so flawless but you see this highlighter oh my god it's just like and I've kind of like not been into like pow bam highlighters so much as, as I used to be. But for this costume, I'm like, girl, we gotta go there. We gotta go there, you know what I mean? I am like, sorry, I know I keep looking at the viewfinder. I'm, I'm not like Tana Mongeau, Tana Mojo? Tana Mongeau, what the hell? I'm not like Tana Mojo, I promise. Um, I just, for some reason when I'm doing this, I feel like I have to keep looking at it. I don't know why. I have this KKW like iridescent powder and I think you can use this on your face. I've used it like over the lip gloss before. I'm just gonna take it on this little fan brush and just go over my face with it. Wow, this is like the most intense highlighter I've ever done. Like I want to put it more places, but I don't really know where to put it. Well, I might use it on my shoulders afterwards because I'm wearing like an off-the-shoulder moto jacket. It's really cool. I'll show you guys in a second. Yeah, I think I have enough highlighter on my face because we're not even done putting stuff on my face yet. I got these from what is it called? Uh, Dolls Kill. I'm gonna try these on now. I 
I guess whatever I don't know that look good I guess it's fine I don't know you guys I like never know where to put these I'm really bad at this you guys I just hope these stay on So like I said, I'm going as a space cowgirl and I want to stay with the galaxy theme. So of course I'm going to go with the galaxy collection from Fenty Beauty. I have the Star Glitz lipstick. I'm not a big girl, guys. Um, and uh, this is Plutonic Relationship, I think. Or no, this is Gravity. The lipstick is Gravity and then the lip gloss is Plutonic Relationship. And I'm sorry, but this is like the most beautiful lip gloss I've ever seen in my life. Like, ugh, I love it. And I'm just using a lip liner from NYX in Bloom. This was supposed to be like a chit chat thing, but I like never talk when I do my makeup. So it's like really difficult for me to come up with things to say. I'm too distracted. And yeah, I overline my lips always because I have like no upper lip. So I always give them more of like a shape when I, especially with lipstick, obviously, with, I mean, what else would you do with? But like when I wear these bold colors, you know? Oh, here's a topic I could talk about. I really thought about getting my lips done for a long time because like I used to be very insecure about them, but um, I'm not really anymore. It's just like, I, the only reason why I would want to get them done still is because I wear makeup a lot, like, and I always, always overdraw them. It just looks better when you're wearing a full face of makeup to have, like, a balanced, I, at least I think so, with my face. It just looks better. Um, no, because I love wearing lipstick, I love bright colors. So, that's the only reason why I would still get them done, because it just looks... I wouldn't be like, I wouldn't have to overdraw my lip, but I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I've been doing it for years, so. I've been doing it since before Kylie Jenner was doing it. I've literally been overlaying my lips since I was like, oh god, I don't even know, 19, 20, and I'm like almost 27. I've gotten a lot better at it though. Like, if, like I, I, I may show you guys at some point, I had another YouTube channel in the past where I used to do like covers of music. Obviously, I used to do like, I used to do like cover songs on this other channel, and I would still love to do that. It's just like so hard now with YouTube's like rules and copyright. Like, I don't play any instruments or anything, so and that's really why I don't do it anymore. But um, yeah, you can see in some of those videos, my lip lining skills back then were very underdeveloped. Like, I literally looked like a clown half the time. But I got a lot better at it. I'm sorry, but you guys need to see this look. Oh, so beautiful. This not not me, this lip gloss is so beautiful. I mean I'm beautiful too, right? We're all beautiful. We all should love ourselves. Mm, beautiful. Love this. As Trish Page would say, love that. I mean this is pretty much the makeup all finished, but we're not done yet. I do want to actually spray Urban Decay All Nighter. Holy grail. The makeup sprays, setting sprays. So I'm actually gonna show you how I put on this wig. Fun fact, I used to have short hair. Well, I actually, I got a pixie cut. And then I shaved it after that, and when I was growing it out, I used to wear wigs all the time. But I haven't worn a wig really since, I think, last Halloween. And I'm actually going to be wearing the same wig that I wore last year. This wig is platinum blonde, you can kind of see it behind me. Um, and obviously my hair is like black, so I do kind of try to like pretty much bring this down as much as possible. But it has bangs, so it's not like terrible. Let's see. I love this wig. This wig was like not even like expensive and it's so nice. Like it's so like the hair it's like very shiny and silky looking. Ah! Lip gloss and hair just do not go together. 
fix her a bit. I look like uh, Sia. Oh my god! Won't look down, won't open my eyes. Keep my glass full until morning light. Cause I'm just holding up for tonight. Can you guys see why I used to have a, a singing channel? Alright, now I just kind of like try to secure it a bit with bobby pins. I thought I had like blonde ones, but I guess it's been a while since I used them. I don't know what happened to them, so. We're just gonna use these black ones, it's okay. Like, it feels fine anyway, like, I'm, like I said, I'm wearing a hat over it, so I'm not overly concerned about that, really. I kind of, like, want to cut my hair to this thing. I've had this haircut before, like, actually, this exact haircut, but black hair. Um, I love platinum blonde, like, I want this color for my actual hair. But it's just, I don't want to damage it, you know? Like, it's growing in so healthy and nice now. And I love black hair, to be honest. Like, I love dark hair. Like, I'm obsessed with black hair. My natural hair color is, like, dark brown. So, I actually, I dye it black. But black is just much more, well, it's easier. It's more low maintenance. But also, it's, like, better for my hair. It's, obviously, it's better than bleaching the shit out of it all the time. All right, now I'm going to get my top on. And I'm going to show you my hat. It's very, very fun. So I had to, of course, do like a little shot here with my backdrop. Ignore this blanket. <laughs> I'm using my iPhone, I'm probably gonna use my iPhone for the rest of the night because I don't have a vlogging camera and the one that I have for like regular filming that's like good is a little bulky. Like it's fine for like what I did with the Clint Road thing, but I don't know, I get paranoid and I don't wanna leave it in my car and I don't wanna like have to, cause I'm afraid they won't let me bring it into the theater, so. All right, you guys, so we just got to peak skill. This lighting is like not good at all, but we'll work with it. <laughs> um, Valeria's with me. You guys run the Valeria. Hi guys. You can't really see her costume, but she looks really cute. That was my first time seeing the Rocky Heart Picture Show live. Um, and I loved it. It was great. I had a lot of fun. Good people, good vibes, good music. What more can I ask for? Great Halloween. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.